Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Financial News. Uh, of course, we have Paul Municle from Ameriprise Financial with us, and he's going to give us an update as to what has been taking place in this last week. Lots of things have been going on with trade and you name it. The stock market is moving upward, and of course, it has a little slight correction, and it moves back up again several points, and I'm sure what you're going to share with the viewers is going to be interesting. Yeah, it, it's been a lot of movement going on, as you mentioned, again, in the market, most of it all positive. Um, if you've been invested, as we've discussed literally all year, we've had a real strong stock market performance this year. And uh, yeah, I've got a few bullet points I was going to read through, and then I know you've got some updates to follow up with. So let's, uh, let's take it away. And I just want to add that everything we're talking about today is as of December 16, 2019. Paul, yep. take it. Thank you, Ron. So um, global equity market volatility did continue to track lower last week as the U.S. and China moved closer to the so-called phase one trade deal. This was a big deal we were talking about last week. We had that December 15th deadline in order to get something in place before tariffs were increased. And as I just reported, that did happen last week and the markets just continued to roll along. Um, most regional volatility gauges closed the week near multi-month lows after both sides confirmed Friday that the first phase of the trade deal had been reached. As part of the agreement, the U.S. will roll back a portion of the tariffs on Chinese products, and China will increase its purchase of, um, on the U.S. to increase purchases on our side. So good news all around. Um, it's phase one. There's more phases to come, but it is a step in the right direction. Right. Um, the S&P 500, Japan's Nikkei 225 index and the Euro stocks 50 have all paired their um, depressed volatility levels with 52 week highs for the underlying index. The Emerging Markets Index, on the other hand, has yet to reach a new record high as the group continues to recover from the negative impacts of that trade war that we've talked so much about. With last week's progress toward the trade deal, the Fed confirming that interest rates are likely to remain unchanged in the near term, we believe that investors may begin to refocus on the November 3rd, 2020 elections. So potentially we don't have to worry about interest rate changes coming. Um, the biggest change coming now is of course the elections that we've talked about right. for next year. Um, and with all the impeachment discussions that are going on now, it's going to be probably be a heated um, election next year, which will affect the market both positively and negatively. Mm -hmm. um, the last bullet point I have is that in our view, the next major market driver will be the Iowa caucuses. Those are scheduled for February 3rd, 2020. Um, the New Hampshire primaries follows the Iowa on February 11th and Super Tuesday primaries, and that's Alabama, California, Massachusetts, Minnesota, North Carolina, Oklahoma, Tennessee, Texas, Vermont, and Virginia. Those are all on March 3rd, 2020. So to kind of summarize what I've got for today, phase one of the trade deal had been agreed upon, um, which is good news for the stock market. We are going to lower some of the tariffs on Chinese products, and China is agreeing to purchase more of our agricultural products. And according to President Trump, they already started to do that before the agreement had been made. So that's all good news. European markets are starting to recover a bit more. Our markets certainly outperformed theirs this year. Emerging markets may take a little more time um, because the trade war did have a tougher impact on them. The Fed commented on interest rates, plans to probably keep them unchanged for a while. Um, and we are looking forward to the Iowa caucuses. When did I say? Um, February 3rd February is 3rd. the date for them. Yeah. And that may be the next big market mover. Maybe. There's always something unexpected that could come up, but that's yeah. at least forecasting <laughs> what we're expecting. Well, Ameriprise Financial also uh, shared with us this morning the morning notes, and they are as follows. S&P 500 index futures are headed toward a Fourth straight day of gains as investors continue to digest news of a 
phase one trade deal between the U.S. and China. Reoccurring theme. My notes mm -hmm. and your notes yeah. have the same, same thing. That thing. trade deal was a big deal. Yeah, it sure has. Uh, the yield on the 10-year Treasury is higher to around 1.85%, while the 30-year is holding near 2.27%. And stocks in Europe uh, reached a new all-time high with uh, stocks 600 index higher by one3 at uh, midday. And shares of Boeing are lower on reports that the company's board is considering halting production on the 737 MAX jet. Well, I think we got a lot more news coming out on we that We do. Situation. That Boeing has been highly discussed really the whole year, ever since the unfortunate accident that, that right. started out all the discussions with this. And Boeing has been a zigzag since then. Good news, bad news, good news, bad news, and unfortunately more bad news that you just reported on right. them. I do know that uh, Boeing CEO said that when the, they finalize whatever changes need to be made, made um, they are going to bring their families on the first flight. Oh, wow. Yeah. I hadn't uh, heard that. But yeah, that was over the weekend. Uh, anyway, uh, they also wanted to, us to mention the S&P 500 is at a uh, year-to-date plus 28.89%. Unbelievable. The Dow Jones uh, is a plus 23.57% year-to-date. NASDAQ, a 33.06% year today. It's just staggering numbers. I mean. Unbelievable. Un it's unbelievable. Well, Paul, I wish you and your family a Merry Christmas, uh, Happy Holidays, and um, if there's anything else that you want to add to uh, the program today. No, I, I like to wish all the viewers at home a Happy Holidays as well. Um, it's been my pleasure to be able to serve in this capacity all year. I'm looking forward uh, to coming back in 2020 with all sorts of fresh data and topics to bring to your attention. And uh, I'm your servant, so if there's something you want to hear discussed on the show, feel free to reach out to Channel 4 um, with topics of interest you'd like to hear me bring up. And of course, you can always call me directly. Uh, I am a financial advisor and I can be reached right at my office at 708-226-3412. Now, if you hadn't picked up by Ron and I's tone, this is our last show for 2019. Ron's going to give you a little bit of a preview on what to expect for our first show next year. Okay, very good. Well, what we're really looking for is when we get to your money next year, our first show, is we're going to be talking about the outlook for 2020s, which should be very interesting, and I'm um, looking forward to that. And, of course, all that pressure is on Paul to gather all that information again. So uh, for uh, Ameriprise Financial and for myself uh, and, and Paul Munichal, myself, Ron Jankowski uh, from Channel 4, we wish you happy holidays, Merry Christmas, have a safe, happy new year.